Hey there friends, it is fall and the other day I live streamed a pumpkin, but I found that some students did not hear my voice well, so I am going to make it again. Once again, we bring out a sphere. When you bring your sphere in, set it wherever you want and change your measurements to 15 wide and 45 long. I'm going to leave the height alone because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to make it orange. And then here's the magical part. We're going to use duplicate, which is control D and only rotate it one tick mark, 22 and a half degrees. Don't touch anything else. And then immediately hit control D again and again and again. And you've got a pretty sweet pumpkin shape. I'm going to click on the combination front view, top view, settle on the front and then I'm going to grab that entire project and I'm going to make it tall like the pumpkin I want to make. Instantly create an awesome pumpkin that easily. Let's change that pumpkin to be one piece by grouping it and then I want to cut out my pumpkin. So I'm going to do control D again. I'm going to nudge it a little bit over so I can see that there's two and then I'm going to use a magical trick uh, by scaling it while holding the shift key. Then it moves every dimension at once. And I'm gonna go down to 42, actually 43. So that means there's two millimeters. That'll be one millimeter on each side for the thickness. I'm gonna turn the second one into a hole. So just so you can really see this, I'm gonna move it away. I'm gonna turn it into a hole. I'm gonna grab both pieces. I'm gonna switch to a line and I'm gonna center and I'm gonna center it. When I select that whole set of shapes and group it, I have now got a hollow pumpkin once it finishes the process. I'm gonna prove it's a hollow pumpkin by dropping a triangle down in front of it, turning it into what I want my eye to look like, making sure it's lined up with the arrow keys close to where I want, doing control D so I have two of those. Spread them out so they're at a decent eye spot. And then I'm going to make them both holes. And then I'm going to group them. That way they're easier to move. I'm going to lift them up into the air to where I want my eyes to be. And then I'm just going to push them in with the arrow key. And now when I group my whole project, you will be able to see that my pumpkin is cut out with sweet little jack-o'-lantern eyeballs. There you go. You can use these tools to add all kinds of pieces. I'm going to add a mouth real quick. Same technique. I'm going to get it close to where I'm going to want it. This time I'm actually going to do center so I can prove that it's going to be lined up perfect. I'm going to take that mouth and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to use that same trick as a minute ago. I'm going to bring the other one out with the arrow keys and I'm going to make it a different color for a moment. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to center those two pieces super quick. And I'm going to make the yellow in a hole, and I'm going to group them. When I do that, you can see that that's going to be a pretty decent mouth shape. I'm going to flip it upside down. It doesn't matter that that back is there because it's just going to be sitting in space when I make it a hole. So I'm going to raise it to the height I want my mouth to be. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to push it back in. And now when I group it, I've got a wicked cool smiley face pumpkin. There's tons of room for you to find other cool pieces to add to make yours more epic, maybe teeth, things like that. Real quickly, I'm going to add a stem. Let's press W for work plane and click on the top. And let's just use the simple polygon. Scale that little critter down. Arrange it so it's close to where you want and the size is what you want. Then switch to the color green because every stem is kind of greenish. I guess maybe it could be brown. Then let's use the align tool. Make sure we click middle and middle, and just so it even looks a little more cool, let's rotate that so it's a little bit kitty corner. I hope you had fun making this cool project, and if you make your own, please share with me in the comments how cool yours turned out. If you see anything I should have added, please let me know.